Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dry Demontolo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys. As always guys, make sure you do download all the requirements inside my description below and make sure that they are the latest version. So we are going to go and install this mod. This mod is called Custom Pens and this is for single player. So all you guys gotta do is download all the requirements inside my description below and make sure you guys install the requirements. Once you guys have completed that, then I will leave this mod inside my description below and download this mod. I have already downloaded this mod so I don't need to download it. Once you guys have completed, then all you guys gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it and right click and open file location. Once you guys are inside your main game folder, all you guys gotta do is go to your scripts folder and then open up your custom pens extract folder and then this is going to be our easy install guys so copy all the files inside your extract folder and then drag it inside your scripts folder make sure you have a native ui.dil latest version and then all you guys got to do is quit out of your extract folder go to your your main gta v folder and then right click and refresh your folder exit the game folder go to your desktop refresh your desktop and i'll see you guys in the game welcome back guys so we are here with franklin and i'm going to show you guys how to open up the custom peds menu so to open up the custom peds menu guys all you gotta do is press the circle and there you go we have our girlfriend menu and player menu so we are going to go over this menu guys, you can go to play menu, you can go and clean yourself if you, if you want to, settings, etc. We can go to the dressing room, so this will take us to the dressing room. Wait for a few seconds and now here we are. We can change our our body if you want to. Uh, go to mail and we can change whatever, we can change to agent 14. Uh, he looked alright. We are going to choose this person, and now you guys can change the the textures of this of this body. Uh, you, you guys can change, okay? And now you can just save the skin if you want to, or just go back. And now here we go. So guys, if you want to, if you want to get a girlfriend, okay, you can push circle, go to girlfriend menu, then now just only uh, like preload. You can preload to whatever or recreate. Just wait for a few seconds. And it should pop up. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. And if you want to choose someone else, okay, press circle. Uh, you can interact with your girlfriend, chat. And now, special. You can, um, the oral, <laughs> you, know, you guys know what I mean, eh? I'm not gonna say it, but yeah. Um, yeah, you guys can do whatever you guys want. Your girlfriend will always follow you wherever you go. Uh, inside the car and inside the store. And even sometimes your girlfriend can have a gun too. It depends if the cops drops the weapon or if you drop a weapon for her. So yes, guys, this menu does work okay. That is really, really awesome. So guys, I hope you guys do like this video. If you guys did, okay, make sure you guys do comment below. And if you guys do get stuck with this mod, then please let me know and I'll be more than welcome to help you. Now guys, just to let you guys know, okay, I've been hearing a lot of people saying that mods do not work and mods do not work. These are the things that you guys must think about, okay? These are the really important things that you must think about, okay? Number one, 
make sure you have the latest native UI.dll file inside your script folder. Make sure you have the latest script hook v files inside your GTAV main directory. And make sure you have the latest script hook v.net files inside your GTAV main directory. And uh, last of all guys, is the most important thing, make sure you have the latest game version. I've been hearing a lot of people having problems with their files just because they got the wrong version of the game or wrong version of the native UI or the wrong version of the Scott Hook V. So guys, those are the most important things you must download for your PC mods. Is native UI.dll, scuttlehookv.dll, and scuttlehookv.net, and even lastly, the latest version for your game. So, guys, I hope you guys do remember all that, okay? And now, uh, like always, guys, if you guys do like this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace, and I'm out.